I'm getting ready to season up this fresh um, trout. Um, it is kosher. It is wild caught. And I'm getting ready to season it up. It's very similar to salmon. So stay tuned. I'm going to pull out all my ingredients, season it up, put it in my oven, and we're going to get things cracking. If you feel me, let's get it done. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Hadassah, and I am back at it again with another video. And I don't want to hold y'all up or waste no time. So if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, okay? And if you are a returning supporter, come on in the room, honey. I got a special little treat for y'all today, so let's just get right into it. No hesitation. And that's why I'm talking fast, because I hate no, people, so I'm going to just... And get it These are the seasonings that you're going to need, which is parsley, some olive oil of your choice. I like to use California Olive Ranch, 100% olive. I mean, 100% Californian extra virgin olive oil, and it is gold pressed. Um, some Italian herb seasoning. Of your choice uh, this one came from Sam's Club so that I have that some black pepper um, um, and some pink Himalayan salt or kosher salt or um, sea salt or even seasoned salt whatever salt you like some onion powder some garlic powder some paprika and some O Bay. So this is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine different ingredients. Now this has been washed and um, it's on a pan. As you can see. And um, we're going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And you're just on a lightly coat it like that perfect you're going to massage it in really good with your hands you want it to be very oily because <laughs> it's good oil it's heart healthy oil now you're going to get your seat and see a uh, little tongue twister tongue twister now you're going to get your seasonings i mean one at a time starting with your parsley italian seasoning these are whole herbs that i have to grind up so you won't be able to see me. I can't hold it. I need to get me a stand. But anyways, I'm just going to finish up the seasonings. And so I'll far, it. I've seasoned it with everything except for the Obey. Now, you can stop here, but seafood I ain't seafood without Obey. But since you have all these nice, delicious herbs already on there, you just gently just want a little bit of Obey. Less than a little bit. Just to give it that pop. So let's get that obey on there now. Okay, so just a little bit of a pop of obey. You want to incorporate everything, so don't be afraid to take your fingers and, you know, incorporate it and rub it in there. Because you put that oil, so it's going to stick and it's going to be real pretty. That's some of the obey. And everything is great. And I did keep the skin on there because I'm one. And I did keep the skin on there because I'm one of those people that like the skin on. And it's always skin down for me. That's how I do it. So there it is. And I wanted to line it up by the seasonings that we used. So again, you're going to need parsley, black pepper. In my case, I'm using fresh cracked pepper. Um, any Italian seasoning of your choice. I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but you can use seasoned salt. You can use kosher salt. You can also use pink Himalayan salt, or you can use seasoned salt. Whatever salt of your preference you use. And then I'm using a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, 
a little bit of paprika. And then the OG of seafood seasoning, which is Obey. Because when you use that Obey, the fish has to obey, baby. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, and let's not forget, baby, a little bit of olive oil that is drizzled on top. And this is the brand that I'm using, 100% California, California Olive Ranch, 100% California Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Well, yeah. And it is cold press. You can't see it. My camera's not zooming up. 100% gold press. Gotta clean this bottle off from me wearing those gloves. I have to wipe all of these bottles down, to be honest. But, oh yeah. So we're about to put this in the oven on 360, well, no, 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 I'm sorry. 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until cooked thoroughly. So I turned the oven on and it's on a reminder. It's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're somewhere else, I think it's 175 or 176 Celsius. Um, I always find that to be very interesting and also weird. Just like we will say 150 pounds. But if you live in the UK, you'll say, oh, this person weights about 10 stones or 10.5 stones and who determines how heavy these stones are huh anyways the oven has heated up i'm getting ready to put the food in the oven right now and i'll see you when i'll see you when the food is done and if you have any other weird measurements that you've always wondered like wow interesting sometimes i think about the oddest things but let's Without further ado, since I was waiting for the fish to get done, I thought I could roughly cut up some potatoes. I use the same seasoning. The only difference is instead of pink Himalayan, the same, ex the same ingredients I use, instead of, I repeat, instead of pink Himalayan salt, I did use seasoned salt. And I'm about to put these in my um, air fryer. As you can see, getting ready to close it. You see all this debris on my hand? I'm trying to multitask. Put it on potatoes. Press start. Let's see how long it's gonna take. It'll be done in 18 minutes. Like I said, it, it's going to be done in about 20 minutes, and it is. And I'm just gonna let this sit here and cool off while the potatoes cook, which will be done in 18 minutes. Out, cool off. I said it was gonna take 20 minutes. It took exactly 20 minutes. It's cooked all the way through. It's tender, it's not dry, it's juicy. Um, we're gonna let those potatoes finish cooking and stuff like that. It only takes about 18 minutes in the air fryer. Um, I'm cooking a lot of potatoes all at once. I may have to turn some of them over um, so all of them can get that nice golden brown color that I like. Um, you can cook it in the oven also if you want to. Um, I just like to use my air fryer because it's, it's a convenient thing. I'm so hungry. 
hungry. OMG, 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 OMG. But um, the potatoes just got done. I'm about to plate everything up. Um, and another reason why I keep bleach and I keep uh, sanitized wipes everywhere because I'm always... I, I got to keep down bacteria, germs. I don't want to miscontaminate anything or whatever. So um, clean up as you go. As you can see, I had fingerprints all on um, my air fryer. Clean that off. Everything is going good. So let's just see how everything looks on a plate. Let's get it done. Here's the food put up in its own little containers. And I know you want me to try... So let me turn the camera around. I know I look a little different, but I had to get ready because my job called me in on my day off. So let's get a, a real big piece. I'm gonna let y'all have the first spoon. Mmm. 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 Have you ever tried something that was so good that you have to think about it? This right here is good. I wish I was here to smell the garlic and the fresh herbs and stuff and try this. It's really good. Well, until next time, peace.